If you or your guest plan to record your podcast with Riverside.fm, but you plan to do it with the mobile version, there's a few tips that I have for you that I've tested with myself for a couple episodes and with some of my clients, and I've troubleshooted it as well. Just some things for you to be prepared for before you go ahead and use that method. The first thing is I always recommend use a laptop if possible. You know, if you have something that has a decent webcam and you can use the desktop version, Riverside FM is obviously way better, but I'm assuming you want to forgo that and you want to go ahead and use the convenience that Riverside promises with the mobile version, which is totally understandable. Which brings me to number two. Make sure that your battery is fully charged. So your iPhone or whatever phone you're using to log on should be fully loaded. Same thing with the AirPods. So if you're using AirPods, you wanna make sure that that is also fully charged because an episode that I did, there was an hour in, uh, you know, the batteries were kind of about to die. That can kind of sometimes disrupt things, especially if that is the main mic source for a lot of guests versus just, you know, the speaker that they're gonna be using it for. Number three is going to be making sure that your do not disturb thing is on because that makes sure that there's no calls, no disruptions coming in, no texts, things that would basically interrupt your speaker or your microphone. And so if you can do that, that really helps because you, you know, any interruptions that you have during the recording is usually the number one reason for any headaches that you have you know later on in post-production number four is going to be to record horizontally instead of vertically i have a client who loves to do vertically because you know it makes for better clips and things like that in post that's totally fine if that's your preference but i think if you are making you know a landscape full video version for youtube and if you and your environment allows for you to frame it in you know a way that is landscape absolutely prefer to do that. Number five, make sure that you and the guest both have up-to-date versions of the Riverside app, because if you don't, that can be, you know, a source for issues later on. Number six, this is the most important one. Make sure that after you are done your recording, if both you and the guest are doing it on mobile, then make sure that you leave the phone up. Okay, so that it is, you know, just kind of uploading to the cloud in the background because this is often something that actually can take several hours in some cases. It mostly doesn't need to, but the way that you typically view the status is like riverside.fm slash upload and you can on desktop um, or in your browser, not the app, you can view the exact percentage that it is uploaded and which tracks are being uploaded versus when you are in the Riverside app, it doesn't really give you any notification or say anything. It just kind of is uploading in the background and whoever has access to the desktop can see the exact percentages you know, later on. Now, the thing that I wanna mention here, number seven, if you run into an issue where you see that it is stuck, it says processing, it's like 99% uploaded, but it's still processing. It should only take about three minutes, that's what Riverside says, for it to process. But if you find that it's stuck in an extended period, I ended up reaching out to Riverside and they helped me through this. And basically you wanna have your recording ID on hand. So whatever that recording ID is in the, you know, you copy and paste that, when you reach out to support and they really help you um, resolve it within a few hours if it is something you know that you find stuck whatever they do on the back end to help make it unstuck it's super helpful but that's just something to be prepared for number eight equipment so this is something that i just encountered the other day one of my clients likes to use the dji wireless for the microphone they plug in the attachment in their iphone and so you know there's no extra recorder needed it's just kind of streaming live as you're speaking into the mic what this does though is that if you are using headphones which you plug let's say you know, into the DJI or whatever, you are gonna have a tough time hearing the guest or hearing yourself. I've just encountered that. The way to avoid it is to use Bluetooth to connect your speaker. So for example, you know, my guest put on 
AirPods and he was able to totally connect through Bluetooth and that resolved the issue. Because remember, you only have one port available uh, if you are using your mobile phone. And so you are reserving that probably for one main device, whether that is a charger, if you have an older model of a phone, you might want to prioritize that so it doesn't die, or whether that is a microphone like the DJI, which connects directly through the USB connector. Those are just some things to keep in mind. If you have any questions on this, make sure to drop a note and let me know. I wish you the best of luck if you are recording your podcast with Riverside. And if you do it on mobile, let me know how it works out. I'd love to hear from you. If you are in the process of starting or growing your podcast, make sure to check out some of the free and paid tools in the description below. I think they will really help you out, but I appreciate you taking the time watching this and hanging out and I will see you on the next one.